Hello, my wonderful amiable listeners. Welcome to another interesting news. For me, father, no, I told Ashwa Jubala Metunubo that several people visiting him in the Asorok Villa have ongoing corruption cases and he should not send the wrong signals. For me, father, no, who asked the president to refrain from sending the wrong signal noted that people accused of corruption and whose cases were before the Economic and Financial Crime Commission EFCC or the Independent Corrupt Practices Commission ICPC should not be appointed to a position of authority. Human rights lawyer Femi Falano, Senior Foot of Nigeria, has said that several high profile politicians, while losing cases in court, have been visiting the presidential villa and dining with the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. President Ashiwa Jubola Ahmed Junubu. Femi Falano, who asked the president to refrain from sending the wrong signal, noted that people accused of corruption and whose cases were being were before the Economic and Financial Crime Commission EFCC or the Independent Corrupt Practices Commission ICPC should not be appointed to a position of authority. The senior lawyer made this known. During Are Afeba Babalola 60th anniversary at the bar, appealing to the appealing to the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and his government to show leadership according to Channel's television. He explained that with the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria at the forefront of an anti-corruption agenda, Nigeria would could take its rightful place in the Committee of Nations as the largest concentration of black people on earth. He said some of those who are going in and out of the villa are standing trial for looting the treasury of this country. So wrong signals must not be sent to our people and the international community. The president and his government should show leadership right now. We are in trouble as a people. There is nobody there is somebody here who has our pre- who has our president if you are accused of corruption and your case was before the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, EFCC, or the ICPC, you would not be appointed to a position of authority. You must go back to that era. God has blessed my family. Mrs. Ashiwa Jubala Metunubu had said, we don't need the wealth of Nigeria to survive, but to do the right thing. The steel monument for ecology to fight erosion, to reforest certain parts of the country. So when a country gets to this that stage, Corruption is not a crime against humanity, he added. Former President Olusha Gomba Sonjo was among several dignitaries, including the owner of Ife, Adi Yayi, Ubunusi, former Commonwealth Secretary General Emeka Anyaoku, who attended the event. Femi Falano, senior advocate of Nigeria, is a Nigerian lawyer and human rights activist. He is the father of Nigerian rapper Falani Falano, popularly known as Faust. Femi Falano is well known for his human rights activist, always trying to show sympathy towards people. He is well known for opposing suppression from successive military authorities. Femi Falano was a student of St. Michael's School from 1963-1968. After finishing from this school, Femi Falano attended Sacred Arts Catholic Seminary from 1971 to 1975. He began his legal practice in 1982. After finishing his law practice in 2012, Femi Falano became a senior advocate, senior advocate in Nigeria. He graduated from the University of Ife, now Oba Family Awira in Ilefe, Oshun State. He is the principal partner of Falano and Falano Chambers. Where he runs with his wife, Femi Falano, he contested and lost the governorship election of Ekiti State in 2007 on the platform of the National Conscious Party. A party he served as national chairman in 2011. Fumi Falano is a Nigerian legal practitioner and women rights activist. Fumi Falano is the wife of Femi Lano Falano, a Nigerian activist and lawyer, the mother of Faust, a Nigerian recording artist and doctor. She attended St. Louis Girls Grammar School in Akure, Ondo State. She obtained bachelor's in bachelor, a bachelor's degree in physics for the from the University of Bini Ambag a law degree at the University of Lagos. Fumi was later later obtained a master's degree from the University of Lagos as well. 
from Falanois currently serves as the National Director of Women Empowerment and Legal Aid, a non governmental organization that defends the rights of women and children. She belongs to some professionals and leadership association within the within and outside Nigeria. She is a member of Nigerian Bar Association, West African Bar Association, and International Bar Association member, Chartered Institute of Arbitrators. It belongs to many professional bodies, West African Bar Association members, Nigerian Bar Association, and member, fellow of the Nigerian Institute of Chartered Arbitrators, West African Bar Association member. Pan Africa Law Lawyer Union and Member International Bar Association. Femi Falano was given the award of one of the nominees for the Future Awards Africa on the team celebrating challenges and builders. He was given the award for his impact in adding values and impressing the upcoming generation. Femi Falano was awarded with the Civic Activities Award by Bud it Bud IT, a civic data driven tech organization in 2012. Femi Fallon was awarded the International Bar Association Bernard Simon Memorial Award in 2008. Femi Fallon was awarded Lifetime Achievements to Human and Civil Rights by LXG. Femi Fallon was awarded Human Rights Defender Award, presented to Volition Yonka for investigative journalism. Taking Nigerians' opinion, good day. Oviano said, hmm. A man who will continue to with the good work of presence, one would worry can never listen to anybody. Uchechuku Uchena said, Now Nigeria will feel the, the, feel the impact of the very sick president. Nicola said, Senior lawyer has always spoken. Please advise Mr. President in technical in a technical way. Adeyemi Oluwolodun Olani said, This is a very good advice from a good senior advocate of Nigeria. I personally support your advice. Oluwa Jimmy Opita said, Mr. Falano was in Asso Rock to visit the president. Why Allah Baolumedi Michael said, Unless he will not pick those, unless he will not pick those who you already know, that is when he will, he will not pick corrupt leaders. She she could see and said the only difference between him and those people is that he is now the president. Or no Okafor said he is one of them, no need for the advice. Ibrahim Baburi said special protests can do that in Dara Buari home, please. Peter Pitt said you are telling corruption itself not to allow corrupt politicians to visit him. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. And let us know your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below and i'll see you on the next news bye for now